Understanding at a Stalemate, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms. Specifically, we're going to explore what it means when someone says they are at a stalemate. This phrase is commonly used in English conversations and can be quite interesting to learn about, especially for those of you looking to improve your English language skills. At a stalemate is an idiom that originates from the game of chess. In chess, a stalemate is a situation where the game ends because no player can make a legal move, and neither player wins. When used as an idiom, at a stalemate means a situation where progress is impossible because the people involved cannot agree or because there are equal but opposing forces or arguments. It's often used in the context of negotiations, debates, or situations where progress has halted due to a lack of compromise. To better understand how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. The peace talks between the countries are at a stalemate. Neither side is willing to compromise. 2. We're at a stalemate in our discussion about where to go on vacation. I want the beach, and you want the mountains. 3. The jury is at a stalemate, they can't seem to reach a unanimous decision. Notice how the phrase is used to describe situations where there is a deadlock or an impasse. To expand your vocabulary, here are some synonyms for at a stalemate. Deadlocked, in a deadlock, at an impasse, in a gridlock, at a standstill. Using these synonyms can add variety to your language and help you express the same idea in different ways. That's all for our exploration of the phrase, at a stalemate. Remember, idioms like this are a great way to add flavor to your English and better understand native speakers. I hope this video has been helpful and insightful. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use, at a stalemate, in your conversations. See you in the next video.